this tutorial, we cover quick bake lighting, reflection probes, lighting probes, the probe manager, and full light map baking. The light baking tab in the Gaia Manager is an optional step after terrain and runtime creation that assists with the baking of light for your scene. The quick light map bake button bakes the global lighting and reflection probe information of the scene. It does not bake any of the individual lights. This process takes only a few seconds and improves the visual look of your scene, removing the black ambient light and dark shadows, particularly when a HDRI skybox is being used. Expand Reflection Probes. We can set the probes to baked or real-time with extra options for the refresh mode. Custom probes allow you to set your own HDR reflection cube map. Note the procedural world skies with active time of day require real-time. Probe Manager allows you to set the frequency of the real-time update. Probes will be spawned in a grid-like fashion across the terrain. Set the number of probes per row to 10, and notice the number of probes value updating. The probe offset is how high above the terrain the probe is placed. Set the render distance to 500. The culling mask is set to default, which is the terrain, details and skybox. But since this scene isn't particularly heavy, we want to add in the trees and the water. Set the culling mask to everything. Click Generate Global Scene Reflection Probes. Select the probe in the hierarchy and use the arrow down key to step through the probes and inspect your results. Because the procedural world lighting is dynamic, the reflection probes need to be updated over time and we can control how frequently these probes are updated with respect to the time of day or a real time period defined in seconds. Note that when the time scale is 1, 1 minute time of day equals 1 second, and 1 hour equals 1 minute. Expand Gaia Runtime, Gaia Lighting, and select Reflection Probe Manager. Check time every frame looks at the time of day and tests whether the specified number of minutes or hours has passed. If we turn this off, you can specify the checking interval with Probe Update Check. This value is in real time seconds. When the values are true, the probes that are in close proximity to the player, defined by the bounds value, will be updated first. We can also provide a Probe Process Time value in real time seconds to avoid the probes being triggered to update before they have finished processing their previous trigger. Probe culling disables any probes outside the probe culling distance from the player. This value should be higher than the bounds. Open Gaia Manager to the Light Baking tab and expand Light Probes. As light probes do not have as many individual options as reflection probes, we only need to define how many probes you want per column. Light probes only become active after pressing the Full Light Map Bake button in the Gaia Manager. The Full Light Map Bake button does a full bake including all lights, light probes and reflection probes in your scene. Alternatively, you can also spawn light and reflection probes from the Gaia spawner. Make a prefab of your light and reflection probes and add them as game object. However you choose to distribute the probes, you can still use the full light map bake button. 